Go They can't. Can you tell them to turn? We want the tail up towards shore. Well, just got lucky that they caught a giant freshwater stingray today. And the guys were here, obviously have all their tagging equipment so they can come out here and tag it. Quite a lot of activity. Everybody's out here. All the science people are happy from iFreddy and Wonders of the Mekong and YEA Young Eco Ambassadors. All this because of work done by University of Nevada, USAID. But this is the whole purpose of putting this acoustic tracking network in, first of its type. And the guys were here, obviously have all their tagging equipment so they can come out here and tag it put an acoustic transmitter in it. So that transmitter will last a year and it gives off a specific tag code. Um, and the receivers that are up and down the river are listening for that tag that passes those acoustic receivers that are listening for it. Um, it'll get recorded. We'll know the date and the time that the fish swims past. Get a good idea for the first time of um, how active are they. They prefer to migrate at, at night um, in the morning, midday, how far do they migrate? Do they migrate, you know, short distances, miles, or do they migrate, you know, tens or perhaps hundreds of miles? And it's really difficult to know that information without having tagged in individuals um, in the river that you're monitoring for. And this is technology that we've used elsewhere for decades, but um, first of its kind here in Cambodia and give us a lot of information on this species as well as other species that are going to be tagged um, over the course of the study in the next couple of years. And we're just about to release it now, so I should get this. Bye bye. So that's what we've been doing. Perfect time of night to get out here and tag that fish just because it's gorgeous. I'm happy with how quickly it went. I feel like we kept it wet, got the surgery done fast. What was the weight? 600 to 650. We got 220 centimeters, both width and nose to base of tail. And then with the tail, it was uh, almost 400 centimeters, so almost four meters long, about over 12 feet. Biggest fish I've ever seen in the wild, by far. A little bit about the purpose of the study. Um, yeah, we're interested in, in studying mig fish migrations in the in the Mekong River and the 3S Basin, so Sekong and Seisan River. Um, we're setting up acoustic telemetry network with 36 receivers from Kampong Cham all the way up to the Lao border. Um, we're collaborating with another study, with an MRC study on the Lao side of the border. Um, we're going to be sharing equipment and data, so we'll be able to track, you know, um, transboundary fish migrations between these two countries. Um, so kind of a first of its kind uh, project here in the Mekong River. So hopefully kind of a, a pilot effort that can show people what's possible and, and data like this is what gets people excited and, and brings in more funding to kind of continue this work in the future. Yeah, we work with some good people. They'll, they've picked all this stuff up. Hopefully they'll be tagging stingrays for many years to come. Be my, my hope.